evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the celebration of the third Moon Festival and 11th anniversary dinner and landmark Chinese restaurant host by World Arts and Multiculture. My name is Louis Lee, the MC for this evening. And up by acknowledging the traditional honor of whose name we gather here today. Can I start by acknowledging a few guests? Our Director General, Ken Lai. Can I acknowledge Melody Chen, the Honorary President of Wards and Multicultural Corporation. Mr. <laughs> the President of War Arts and Multiculture. The Mr. Stewart MP, representing the Honorable Kevin Newman, the Queensland Premier. Mr. Stephen Wang, representing the Right Honorable Lord Mayor of Brisbane Council of Grand Kirk. Mr. Grant Terra, Federal Member for Morton. Mr. Lane, representing Dr. Jim Chairman, Federal Member for Rankin. Mr. Freya, Officer of the MP, representing the Honorable Grand House MP. Tanya Smith, Assistant Minister for Child Safety. And also can I acknowledge the partner Mr. Steve Smith, Anthony Shorten MP, State Member for Alloys, Council Council of Crystal Evan, Council for Witch and War, and also the Chair of Crystal Lifestyle Committee. Alloys Council of Kenny Max, Council of Karawaka War. Alloys Battles for AN, the Cross Cultural Liaison Officer, the Queensland Police State Service, and his partner. Mrs. Tina Bellos, Emily Huang, the Managing Director of Queensland Chinese Time and also the Advisor of War Arts and Multiculture. Dr. <laughs> Chun, the Director of Queensland Taiwan Centre. Dr. <laughs> Peter Huang, the Advisor for OOC Community Affairs Council, ROC, and also the Honorary President of War Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce. And Louis Lu, the Commissioner Advisor for OOC Community Affairs Council, ROC. Henry Chen, the advisor for Overseas Community Affairs Council ROC. Michelle Wang, the Commissioner for Overseas Community Affairs Council ROC. Lu Ling, the Commissioner for Overseas Community Affairs Council ROC. And I know David Ling, the Secretary General of the Queensland Federation of the Taiwanese Association. And I know Steve Wu, the President of Pura Light International Association of Queensland. Dr. Chen, the President of Taiwan French Association of Queensland. <laughs> Maya Ha, the President of Taiwan Women League of Queensland. Can I acknowledge Frank Wu, the President of Hakka Association of Queensland. Thank you, and also the independent candidate for strengthening. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite Director General Ken Lai, Tiko in Brisbane, to deliver the first speech. Today, I'm今天很荣幸邀参加我们世界多元文化艺术协会举办的中秋节庆祝晚会所以我希望我们今天晚会的主办单位陈燕秋还有余会长还有本日的中秋节庆祝晚会之外世界多元文化艺术协会
事业顺利，谢谢。Uh, first, I would like to apologize for not being able to recognize uh, each one of you, the VIPs, as we got a long, long list. If I had to go through it properly, it would take about 30 minutes. So I'm sorry about that. Um, today, we gather here to celebrate the traditional moon festival, uh, otherwise known as Mid-August Festival, and it always falls on the 5th of August in lunar calendar and uh, traditionally we would eat moon cakes and pomelos uh, on this occasion so I hope the host organization is thoughtful enough to uh, prepare some of them for us uh, it's a great pleasure for me and my family to invite you to attend this uh, today's celebration. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the nice host, the World Arts and Multicultural Association. I would like to thank the President, uh, Tai Nan Yu. Also, I would like to thank the uh, Life Honorary uh, President, Nelito Ki Chen, for their efforts. Uh, without their efforts, uh, to make the, uh, without their efforts, I'm Sure, tonight's celebration would not be possible. And uh, um, since my arrival uh, in uh, on 6th of July, I have attended many uh, occasions hosted by World Arts and Multicultural Association, including um, the Young uh, Young Beauty Taiwan. Uh, the Team Show Festival, and also we got the um, uh, the uh, Skylark uh, Chorus from Penghu County, and today's celebration, and also we are, we are going to have the uh, uh, Taipei City Symphony Orchestra Music Concert uh, in early uh, September, I guess. Uh, here, I mean, for all these for all these uh, concerts and celebrations, um, it all shows their leadership and their efforts and their ability to mobilize human and other resources. Um, which I would like to thank the uh, World Arts and Multicultural Association. The list, the last, but not the list, I wish great success to tonight's celebration. And I wish good health and success to each one of you. Thank you. Thank you. The speaker is the Mr. Mark Stewart. Mark Stewart represents the Honorable Campbell Newman MP, the Queensland Premier. Mr. Mark Stewart MP deliver Premier speech. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. One and all, I would like uh, first to acknowledge the traditional custodians on the land on which we meet today and pay my respects to the elders, both past and present. But I'd also like to acknowledge the significant and the lasting cultural benefit that we receive here in our communities from a wide range of cultural backgrounds that help us to celebrate great events uh, like the Moon Festival here today. I'd like to acknowledge the Director General Ken Lay. I'd like to acknowledge Melody Chen. Uh, and also I would like to acknowledge Dana Wu. Uh, it's great uh, to be here today uh, all of my elected representatives and the vast array of community representatives that we have here tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I was asked to represent the Premier at this event and uh, in my discussions with the Premier, the one thing that really always resonates with me is the Premier's belief in family, the Premier's belief in having a strong uh, and vibrant community as well. And I think that that's one of those things that helps bring us all here together tonight uh, to celebrate, and that's the Moon Festival, a great opportunity uh, for families and communities to come together. And what better way than here in the electorate of Sunnybank at the Moon Festival put on uh, by the World Arts and Multiculture. Our communities are very fortunate uh, right across uh, Queensland, but uh, more particularly here. 
uh, in, in Sunnybank, I believe, and I know that all of my elected representatives down there will say that their area is probably uh, uh, better, but I've got to say here that Sunnybank is better because we truly have a vast array of community associations here in Sunnybank, and that can, purely be, that can easily be shown here tonight with the amount of uh, people that were on our VIP list. So to all of those community groups that are here, thank you so much for the work that you do, uh, because I'd like to take this opportunity, since as we are bringing our community together, to thank you for the great work that you do uh, in our community, making it such a strong and vibrant community. I'd also like to particularly thank Melody uh, and Dana for the great work that you do in bringing our community together. At great events like this, at great events uh, like the movie premiere that we held uh, just across the hall here, uh, and, and all of the events that you hold right across the year, it's a great opportunity for us to come together and celebrate uh, as a family, as a community. Thank you. The Right Honourable Lord Mayor Graham Kirk. He wants to be joined by Councillor Crystal Adam and Councillor Tim Marks. Uh, good evening, friends, ladies, and gentlemen. It is indeed a great honor to be here tonight representing the lawman. And, uh, I'm, and I'm sure that the lawman would love to be here, but just unfortunately, he has other engagements. And uh, now, as the uh, only elected representative who can speak Chinese in here, I'll, I'll make my rest of my speech in Chinese and I'll pass on to my colleagues in here to speak in English later. 各位朋友今天晚上在这边要感谢我们Melody Chen跟Dana Yu 没有他们两位的这个积极的努力有赖于社会的和谐今天他的出席代表了我们布里斯本市政府对这个对话活动的重视similar things but I would like to say on behalf of Team Brisbane as Chair of Brisbane Lifestyle very happy to be here this evening saying congratulations and thank you to the World Arts and Multicultural Incorporation for putting on a function like this. Uh, Brisbane is about access and inclusion and here is an example as uh, Mr Mark Stewart said in his electorate one of the most culturally diverse of why Brisbane is such a special place. We are getting ready to uh, polish the silver and welcome our world leaders in November for G20 and I think this goes a long way to show the world what a wonderful place it is to be in Brisbane. Thank you so much and happy Moon Festival. Thank you and uh, good evening to everybody. I'm here representing Team Quirk with Councillor Adams and Councillor Huang. So um, I, I'm just watching the lights. Have, has anyone noticed the lights on the ceiling? And if you look around occasionally, you'll see someone with a red dot right on their forehead. Just hoping it's not a sniper or anything like that. It kind of looks a bit funny, but it's pretty cool too. Look, I just want to say congratulations to World Arts for the event tonight. And I know that everyone's going to have a wonderful time. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you. I'd also uh, just like to acknowledge eight people who 
keep it simple. Uh, firstly, the traditional owners and thank them for their continuing stewardship. Uh, secondly, Dana and Melody for your wonderful invitation. Uh, fourthly, to Ken Lai for your uh, fine representation that you're doing for the Taiwanese community. Uh, and also all of the elected representatives that are here tonight and community leaders and also my, my good friends uh, Duncan Pegg and Peter Russo. And lastly, to summarise all of those, Lewis Lee, because Lewis went through a list so long that it would take all night to acknowledge everyone again. Uh, obviously, this is a, a, a wonderful venue and a wonderful community to, to celebrate the Moon Festival, about communities coming together, about families coming together. There are so many familiar faces here uh, that I've seen uh, for the last decade or so. Uh, I know that uh, it's a great time for families to catch up and I'm proud to be your representative down in Canberra. And I'm sorry that I can't party late tonight because I've got to go to Canberra tomorrow. Uh, for, and I, I'm sure that the family down in Canberra will be as just as harmonious as the one here. Happy Moon Festival. Shish. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Parrot, and the Federal Member for Northern. I want to invite my colleagues, uh, Anthony Shorten, MP, and uh, Ta Mrs. Tanya Smith, to the uh, stage two. Dr. Hull! <laughs> Gee, is it hot in here or what? Um, I take the coat off, except I don't think that I should uh, represent the minister looking like a disco ball. So, I am here tonight representing the Honourable Glenn Elms, the Minister for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander and Multicultural Affairs. Unfortunately, Mr Elms cannot be with us tonight. He does send his apologies. He would really love to have been with you, uh, as he does come to a lot of these functions as often as he can. But he does live in Noosa, and it is Sunday night after all. As the member for Stretton, I'm honoured to be here to join you this evening. And I thank you for the opportunity to say a few words. I am going to give you the words of the Minister. So if you would just indulge me, he has a few things he wants you to know. I'm pleased to be celebrating the Moon Festival. We're always here together and tonight it's about celebrating the Moon Festival. And it's the first of quite a few. I know that many families traditionally gather to share a meal and to enjoy delicious moon cakes together. It's during this time we can all take a moment to admire the moon. As well, We can't see it tonight in a bit of rain. But as it's thought to be the most luminous time of the year. As we all know, food is an important element of many festivals. And of course the moon festival to the Taiwanese is absolutely no exception. I'm certainly looking forward to the wonderful food tonight. And let's thank the Landmark Restaurant as well. Uh, the focus of the new Queensland cultural diversity policy is on improving the prospects for migrants and attaining jobs and participating in the economy. The policy reflects our dedication to provide a quality of opportunity for all Queenslanders to participate fully in our strong economy and enjoy our vibrant society. An action plan including 170 separate actions and practical strategies across government has been developed to give life to the policy. The action plan focuses on improved outcomes in education participation and attainment, economic independence and community participation. A significant barrier to economic and social participation for some people from culturally diverse backgrounds is a lack of English language proficiency. The action plan will promote language and independence by developing strategies to improve language ability and self-sufficiency to people with limited English language skills. The Queensland Cultural Diversity Group will be starting on Saturday, 30th of August, and will continue through to Sunday, 7th of September. Queensland Cultural Diversity Week is our state's largest celebration of cultural diversity, and this year's theme is 
everyone's invited. And may I just say, everyone is invited to the Taiwan Festival, which will be starting on the 30th, for a whole week this time at Camembert Central. Now this week includes events and activities across Queensland to celebrate and showcase the benefits of our state's diversity, which promote statewide community participation. The centrepiece of the week is the Cultural Diversity Awards, which recognise the valuable contribution of Queenslanders who support our state's cultural diversity and help build an inclusive, harmonious community. And we actually have a finalist in that from the electorate of Stretton, and I believe also from the electorate of Sunnybank. And for the first time since the awards commenced in 1990, tickets are available for the public to attend this prestigious event. And they are available for purchase by the Department of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island and Multicultural Affairs website. I encourage you to be involved in Queensland Cultural Diversity Week. And in closing, I'd like to once again congratulate World Arts and Multicultural Inc, especially to my good friend, Dana and Melody and their whole team because they have always pulled off a wonderful, wonderful event that is extremely entertaining. Thank you very, very much. Uh, and also to Lewis Lee, who's always an extraordinary MC. Uh, and, um, Thank you also to everyone here for the role you play in promoting our state's cultural diversity. I wish you all a wonderful night and a happy Mid-Autumn Festival. God shall Thank you, Kaya. Tanya Smith, Tanya okay. is the Assistant Minister for Child Safety. He's also the State Member for Maobli. Please. Thank you very much, Lewis. Tanya, Tanya. Melody, Lewis, everybody who's involved with this association. Can I just say, behind the scenes is hard work. 11 years we're celebrating the anniversary. So well done, congratulations. Wonderful to see so many people here this evening. And thank you, have a good night. Thank you, gentlemen. Can I firstly join with Mark Stewart and uh, in his acknowledgement of the tra traditional owners of the land on which we meet. Also, can I um, also acknowledge the, uh, the elected members here tonight. But more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to acknowledge particularly Dana Wu and her efforts tonight, and also Melody Chen. And what a beautiful dress you've got on tonight, Melody. You are elegant as always. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight again reinforces to me the, uh, the diversity and the strength of the Taiwanese community here in Brisbane and across Queensland. As I look across the crowd tonight, I see so many, so many community leaders from the different community groups that go to make up the Taiwanese community. And I'm always encouraged to be at events like this. And while I have the microphone, can I pass my apologies for my wife? Uh, she unfortunately is not well tonight, but she always loves joining with me in the Taiwanese community, particularly here at the Landmark because they do such a great meal. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, congratulations to the World Arts and Multicultural Incorporated on organising tonight's event. I wish you well in the future and I hope to celebrate this with you again for many years to come. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. This is uh, the 11th anniversary of our third Mong Festival celebration, hosted by World Arts and Multicultural Incorporation. We promote cultural diversity. This is we continue doing in the cultural in the nation with the community. Coalition in Queensland Police Thank you for attending tonight. Support once hope you enjoy our
Pogan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Melody Chen. Thank you. We've got another program coming up. This program is we ask all the speakers to come to the stage. All the speakers to come to the stage. Okay. All right, ten, please. Yes. Okay. But well, we're the principal of Chongtian Chinese School, Queensland. And David Yang is the director of Buddha Light International Association, Queensland. Now, maybe I should ask David or Mei Yang to say a few words. They want to put back this raffle return ticket from Brisbane to Auckland to do the auction. They want to donate back to the auction. Can I ask David Yang to say a few words? <笑>今天谢谢各位文化帮忙提早庆祝中秋节玩得很高兴那我想也很<笑> 我想这个就来奥训来捐助给你们会里面来做一些其他的议题好不好谢谢谢谢这个都是大家的部分那么因为我知道今天晚上我们有一些基金是要做急难救助的所以我们用一份跟大家一起祝福所有需要帮助的人